Howdy. Today on Flipping Science, we're going to be looking at um, balancing complete combustion reaction equations, specifically looking at alkanes and alcohols. So what is complete combustion? So in complete combustion, you react uh, your alkane or alcohol, so we've got an alkane and alcohol over here, with oxygen, and the only products you get are carbon dioxide and water. You get them in di differing proportions. So we're going to look at... Um, using simple rules to help us balance for straight chain alcohols and alkanes. So we're going to start with the alkanes because they're a little bit easier. The rule is if there's an even number of carbons, you double everything. So we'll start by looking at methane. In this case, we only have, uh, we have an odd number of carbons. We've only got one carbon over here, so we don't need to double everything in this case. So if we look, we've got uh, one carbon here, one carbon here. We've got four hydrogens here, but only two on this side. So I need to double the number of hydrogens over here. And if I look at my number of oxygens, I've got two oxygens here, two oxygens here, so that means a total of four, so that means I'm going to need two oxygen molecules to balance it out nicely. All right, so that's nice and easy. Let's look at our next example here. We've got uh, ethane, methane, ethane, yes. We've got two carbons this time, so this is where we're going to use our rule of doubling everything. So to start with, I'm going to double my amount of uh, carbon over here with my ethane. That means I'm going to double, consequently, my amount of carbon dioxide. So I've got four carbons on this side, so that means I need four carbons over here. All right. Now, I count up my number of hydrogens over here. I've got two times six, which is 12, so I'm going to need six, oxygen molecule, uh, six water molecules over here. Now I'm going to count up my oxygens. I've got four times two, so I've got eight oxygens over here, plus six is 14. So that means I've got 14 oxygens on this side of my arrow, so that means I'm going to need seven molecules. And this is why we do the doubling. If we have a look here, you can see that if I didn't double, I would have one molecule of this, three and a half molecules of oxygen, um, two molecules of carbon dioxide, and three molecules of water. So by doubling everything, I get nice integers here rather than having decimals or fractions. You can use fractions and you can use decimals if you like, but we're going to try and avoid that. Let's look at some other examples quickly. So now I've got uh, methane, ethane, propane, so C3H8. So three carbons over here, so that means I'm going to need three carbons over here. I've got eight hydrogens here and only two here, so I'm going to need four of these. Add up my oxygens, so three times two is six, uh, plus four is ten, so I'm going to need five oxygens over here. So that's nice and balanced now. Now, uh, one more example where I have to double everything. Now, I've got methane, ethane, propane, butane, so C4H10, plus my oxygens. I'm just going to start straight out by doubling this. So now I've got 2 times 4, so I've got 8 carbons on this side, so I'm going to need 8 carbon dioxides. I've got 20 hydrogen um, atoms over here, so I'm going to need 10 water molecules there. Add up my oxygens over here, so I've got 8 times 2, 16, plus 10 is 26, so that means I'm going to need 13 uh, oxygen uh, gas molecules over here. So again, we're avoiding having um, 6.5 oxygens on this side. That's what we're avoiding by doing this doubling everything. Now, if we were to not double everything, our numbers would be, we'd just have... Uh, we'd have one of those, we would have... There's a few different ways of writing it. You could write, so 13 on 2. And then we would have 4 and 5 of those. So 4 and 5 of those. Um, the other thing we could have, rather than saying 13 on 2, we could have 6.5 as a decimal as well. So 6.5. But again... We can avoid that just by doubling everything. We get a numbers that we can use. So that's the rule for alkanes. With alcohols, we have a slightly different rule. It's the other way around. So if you've got an odd number of carbons, then you have to double everything. So let's look at some examples of these. So I've got uh, methanol here, so CH3OH. Now, one way of remembering this is alcohol makes you odd, and that's one way of remembering that that's how you're going to double everything. So I'm going to start by doubling methanol yeah, so how many carbons? Two carbons, so I'm going to need two carbon dioxides over here. We're just doing this to start with and see if it works out. We'll see what happens in a minute. 
All right, um, how many hydrogens on this side? We've got uh, one, two, three, four, so we've got eight in total, so we've got four water molecules over this side. How many oxygens do we have on this side? We've got uh, four there plus another four, so we've got eight on this side. We've already got two oxygens here, so we only need three, okay? So again, by doubling everything when I've got just one carbon or an odd number of carbons over here, that means I get nice integer numbers. And again, if we wanted to, we could do fractions. So we have one and two on this side. And we would have three on two over here. And only like that. Or again, we could have decimals if we wanted to. So 1.5 oxygen atoms. So again, I think it's just easier just having all your integers there. So let's look at an example now where now we've got an even number of carbons. So methanol, ethanol, now we've got. So we've got two carbons on this side. So we'll just double that one. How many hydrogens on this side? We've got five, six. So we're going to need three over here. How many oxygens on this side? We've got four plus three is seven. Here we've got uh, one and three, so that means we need to have three oxygens. So three plus one is seven, four plus three is seven. So now we're balanced. So here again, you can see we've got an even number of um, carbons in our alcohol, so we don't need to double. Let's look at another example. We'll just do this one as our last one. So we've got methanol, ethanol, propanol now. So propan 1 ol this would be. Um, again, it doesn't really matter if it's propan 1 ol or propan 2 ol um, You'll still get um, the same ratio out in the end. So we've got odd number here. We've got 3, so I'm going to double that. So 2 3s are 6. So I'm going to have 6 carbon dioxides. Look at my hydrogens. So I've got 7, 8. So I've got 16. So I'm going to have 8. 6 times 2 is 12, uh, 12 plus 8 is 20, so I've got 20 oxygens on this side, minus 2, so I'm going to need 9 there. So let's just check, so 2, 3 is 6, 6, 7, 8 times 2, 8 times 2, uh, 2 plus 18 is 20, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 8 is 20. So now we're balanced. So that's a couple of rules to help you when you're balancing alkanes and alcohols when they're completely combusting with oxygen and only producing carbon dioxide and water as byproduct. So that's flipping science for today. See ya. <laughs>